everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I enjoy with uh, one of my co-hosts for this uh, venture into the abyss. Uh, my good old friend Minho. Hello, hello. Nice to see you uh, around the Walmart dumpster again. Yeah, I found these. Uh, I found gluten-free pizza crust. I don't got uh, an oven oh, though back here. Oh. <laughs> you can take them. I'll just bring that to Cameron later. <laughs> I forgot he couldn't eat gluten. Yeah, how do you forget? <laughs> it's his whole personality! <laughs> yeah, that's who he is. Hi, I'm Cameron. I can't eat gluten. <laughs> that's basically it. He can't have chocolate anymore. What? Why? Yeah, the it doesn't have gluten, yeah, does it? Well, IBS, one of the, the one of the three big no-nos is chocolate, but that, like, wasn't that big of a deal to him. He just ate it in moderation, but now with every doctor he's been to recently has been like, yeah, you gotta cut that shit out. <laughs> so, so no, no more chocolate, no more wheat, yeah. no more caffeine. No. And tomato sauce for some goddamn reason. Who the fuck knows that one? <laughs> tomato sauce? What the heck? That's random. Yeah, I don't know. Tomatoes are fine. Tomato sauce is a fucking stomach turner, apparently. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Cameron and his dire stomach issue. <laughs> we're here to talk about fanfiction, and what good fanfiction to read, like a Scooby-Doo <laughs> fanfiction. Oh god. Yeah, you pick this. You're the reason why it's on the wheel. <laughs> oh, why me? You you did this to yourself. You self-sabotaged. Why did I do this, me? Yeah, you know, like Among Us and one now, where it's like self-reporting. You did this. You self-reported on yourself. Oh, I self-reported myself. But uh, you know what? This was enjoyable the last time we read it, and it's long as shit. So, uh, can't oh, it is long. Wow. It, yeah, this is like this is gonna be our next One Piece. <laughs> Looks like it's mostly dialogue. Yeah, I think it's complete, so we don't have to worry about it like updating like three chapters while we're going. <laughs> Yeah, Harvey Reader. Yeah. Harvey Rex Reader is so goddamn good, man. <laughs> so good! You can't sit there and tell me it's not good. If we... it, it's good from the others that I've read so far. Like, compared to the others I've read so far. I, I, I would put the Scooby-Doo fanfiction and the Harvey one on the same level. Okay, okay. Yeah, with the writing and whatnot and the immersion. I feel Scooby-Doo's like solid... masterpiece is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, you even got the music in the background, which I can't put because of copyright reasons, but <laughs> I'm not, you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Alright, this- what well, we left off, new chapter, chapter 3, the, mis the mystery of the Moonscar Island. Now, I never watched any of the Scooby-Doo movies, except- I watched the Kiss one. And then I watched the, uh, the Hex Girls, wherever fucking movie they came from, and whatnot. And that was a live action. So long. You've watched the live action? I, I can't. grew up with the live action. I had the DVD. I can't watch anything live action. Why not? Just, it's just too much live, too much action. <laughs> what, a, uh, what a revelation. <laughs> it's right. too much. So we're uh, keeping the same characters. We're going to try to replicate the voices that we did last time as best as possible. We're going to try to remember who these people look like. Uh, all I'm going right. to butcher these voices. Yeah, I got my three voice lines. Let's go. <laughs> and you have like six. <laughs> I'm, I'm six? No, I have like 200. Yeah, it feels like it. All these characters. At least Fred and Raffy have like normal voices, so you don't have to like, it'll be like, oh shucks, man. <laughs> and <laughs> like the entire time. <laughs> oh, I did like a Carl Weezer voice for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Weezer. Yeah, the fucking like, Jimmy's mom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, can I have that croissant? <laughs> Alright, anyway. I forgot, there was like a freaking song cover, like with his voice. Oh, was, like, Thunder really Peaches? Was it that? Yeah, someone made like, uh, someone, uh, I guess like imitated Carl Weezer's voice from uh, Jimmy Neutron and made him like do his own little parody song of Peaches where he was just like Judy, Judy, Judy! <laughs> Talking about how much he loved uh, <laughs> Jimmy's <laughs> mom. <laughs> uh, this chapter starts the gang arriving at Moonscar. Alright, I think uh, Jack Heese? I think that's the uh, the old man. Or a man. Just Jack a guy. 
Yeah. It's just Maybe a it's, guy. Okay, so it's definitely French. It's probably like Jacques. Jacques that's, or something. Yeah, you know I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, that's a freaking different language. I don't even blame you there. I could be just saying it wrong, too. Yeah. Alright, well, go ahead, man. This is your line. <laughs> I'm the narrator? Well, you gotta say Jackie's line, which is... Moose <laughs> his line. Am I the narrator, or are you the narrator? I think no, I'll take over narrating, since you have a lot of characters to switch between voices. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sounds good. Alright, chapter 3, The Mystery of Moonscar Island. Yep. This chapter starts with a gang arriving at Moonscar Island. The jocks. Moonscar Island. Dead ahead. We then see the gang arriving at the... Oh, driving the mystery machine off the boat. I forgot they put the boat... the, the machine on the boat. I, I, it's a ferry, I guess. Before they see Jack waving goodbye at the gang on Lila. And Miss Lena, you give my best to Miss Leonor? You hear? Sure? I don't want to voice out lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that, Jakes. Thanks. But Jack's gone. Lena turns to the gang in the mystery machine. Ready? Follow me and hang on. Rose a little bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> the game proceeds to follow Lena through the jungle road. Being every bumpy, and all the gang having trouble with the bumpy road, well, except for Raffi, who seems to just roll with the rocky terrain, not even moving. He's just, like, levitating. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Like, man, how are you so unmoving on this rocky terrain? <laughs> <laughs> My fa- uh, Raffi Rue. My family used to take regular trips through much rockier terrain. It was either I got used to the feeling, or just, well, do what you lot are doing nine times out of ten. After that quick bit out of character building, we carry on through the forest until they reach the manor, as pictured in this picture. <laughs> Post picture. Yeah, uh, as a Daphne's the fucking uh, redhead, right? <laughs> she's the preppy girl. Yeah, she's like, what? There's a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder ma what makes it so haunted. Are you getting all this, Fred? Yep, got it, Daph. Blimey, Lena wasn't kidding. This place is crawling with cats. Insert laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> this is filmed in front of a live studio. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, a blur comes across the window, surprising the gang as it lands on Raffi's lap. When he looks down, he sees a very scared-looking kitten. It looks so cute. This is definitely AI made. <laughs> it looks like it's AI made. Either that or it's a good painting. Yeah. When was it made? When was this chapter made? Uh, I have no idea. You're gonna have to look at that yourself, man. Alright. Maybe it was before or after. But, um, uh, alright. Yeah. Raffi Roo. Aw, oh, hello. Scooby starts growling at the cat on Raffi's lap, which starts scaring the poor kitten. Did we have to lie and tell them that Scooby could handle, uh, <laughs> handle kittens and cats? <laughs> Damn. I did it? Yeah. It's, it wasn't like Shaggy like, Hey, Scooby, man, you can handle some cats, right? He's like, huh? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Yeah, and then, meanwhile... <laughs> <laughs> Calm it, Scoob. This one seems afraid of the others. I wonder why. Scooby does so, but keeps an eye on the cat. Still then, realize they're more, they're more outside. What? And, pro and proceeds to take a hold of, of uh, Fred's camera and looks around to see multiple cats. What? I'm, the I'm just like prepared to put an R before the word, but it's already rats. Yeah. And toes the cameras. Wait, and tows the camera into Fred's lap and jumps out of the window to chase the cats all around the property. Whoa! Come back, Scoop! While the commotion is going on, Raffi notices a tag on the cat's collar. Lulu, so your name is Lulu, huh? The cat meows in response, and Raffi also notices something else. If found, please return to Alice May. Who's Alice May? A Scooby 
continues to ravage, he accidentally knocks some flowers into the gardener. Picture here. Is that the gardener? Yeah. That guy looks like a mailman or something. Or like a lumberjack. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you mutt. I just planted those. So he continues and gets stuck in the well of a cart. Damn. <laughs> Look at that picture. Yeah. <laughs> Rich. Ravi is, is seen trying to soothe the cat and thinking about the name he found while the rest of the gang is now out of the mystery machine. Kyobi, leave them alone! <laughs> the gang proceeds to chase after Scooby to try and stop his, ram his rampage, but seems to almost work if not for the cats that start mocking Scooby, one even poking their their tongue at him, which angers Scooby enough that he destroys the cart and proceeds to chase the cat some more, and Shaggy catches the plant that came can't wait, that came from the cart. Great with cats, huh? Shaggy just sheamishly laughs at this before he drops the, the plant he caught to chase after Scooby as Raffy approaches now with Lulu in his, uh, his shoulder. So those who imagine you're Raffy with a with a hoodie get to see Lulu in the hoodie. Those with regular coats they sit on Raffy's pocket, and those without get Lulu on Raffy's shoulder. He's wearing all three. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. yeah. All of them. The cats are everywhere. <laughs> Gooby Doo, stop! I spent a whole week on that planner. The cat then runs between the gardener's legs as he sees Scooby coming full speed in which he tries to stop, only to get bulldozed by the Great Dane. Wait, Scooby's a Great Dane? <laughs> I didn't know that. I guess. Yeah, I'm so uncultured. I should have looked up his dog type, but I thought he was just a fictional dog. <laughs> fictional dog breed? <laughs> He's like, uh, Clifford. <laughs> yeah, that's... Of course, Scooby come comes back to apologize, showing he didn't mean to hurt the gardener. Excuse me. Before running off to chase the cat again, he jumps into the lady's arms. Okay, oh wait, fuck. <laughs> Before rushing off to chase the cat again, he jumps into the lady's arm, which could be unfortunately crashes into. All right, that I guess I'm voicing that lady. She's she looks Is that rich. Lena? She's part of the one percent. No, I think that's <laughs> Mrs. Leaner. Oh, Miss Lenore. Yeah, Lenore. <laughs> She's French. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. Leaner. Uh, Raffy Roo in a whisper. Now you've done it, Scoob. Is this normal? Velma sinks low. Unfortunately. <laughs> There's Velma voice. Yeah, Velma's back. <laughs> Raffy just nods. Who brought this dog? You gotta sound- you gotta make her sound more refined. I'm trying to remember the voice I gave, like, a certain bomb in- in Thousand Year Door, and I gave her, like, I must say, who brought this mutt in my quarters? <laughs> <laughs> I gave a sound British. Oh, I was just trying to make her sound rich. <laughs> I was do like, who- who brought this dog? Uh, maybe she's British, who knows? I don't know, maybe rich people are rich. Oh, rich people are rich. British people are. <laughs> Can you die if you're killed? Yeah. <laughs> if you if you start dying in the living room, does that mean like you don't die because it's the living room? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I oh, did my I'm line. Scooby. Yeah, you know shit. Uh, rogue. Burr. Raffi walks over to the gardener to help him up. Sorry about that. Garner takes Raffy's hand. He yours? Oh, okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta specify. He yours? The gardener says, Raffy. Nah, just thought you'd want to hear it. But thanks. Well, I better get back to work. As the gardener goes back to work, Raffy knows there's something on the floor and picks it up. He's part of Interpol. <laughs> Police. <laughs> That is the fakest police badge I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is a cartoon. <laughs> you gotta be accurate. There's no excuse. Yeah. 
Oh, no, I didn't realize it was me. I was just looking at the badge the whole time. I was like, hey, You're no, like, wow, this is a shit. Part of bad. <laughs> Alright, Rafi Roo. Hey, you dropped something. Rafi picks up the object, but see, it's a police badge. Bo Bu Neville. Is it Bu? B I think Bu. Bu. Okay, Bu Neville. A pleasure. My name is Rafi Roo. Bio snatches the badge out of Raffy's hands. Oh, I guess I gotta voice Bu now, hey? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the gardener's name. Oh, wait, it is? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I am so lost. There's so many characters. I'm like, I cannot keep up. The gardener right, got a Bu. name, and you're like, who is this man? <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? His name is Gardener. <laughs> Alright, keep what you saw a secret. Okay, Raffy Roo? All fine with me, officer. I love how, like, yeah, he came out of the womb like that. First name B, last name Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> Raffy chuckles as the view glances at Raffy's teasing. Raffy walks back over to the gang with Miss Lena and Lana and sees Daphne trying to defuse the situation with Miss Lin... Lenar. Lenar. Oh, yeah, like the Leonard's chocolate. Yeah, I got it now. Oh, yeah. I think, I don't know, it might be a really different spelling, and I might just pronounce both of them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. We must have gone... We must... Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fucking on my own lines. <laughs> we should have held on to him better. I'm Daphne Blake from Coast to Coast. <laughs> You're making her sound so annoying. That's the point. <laughs> she has some normal lines, hasn't she? I still have that one line. It was like, it was like, at least I didn't wear heels to a hiking trip. At least I'm trying to look feminine. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm roasted. laughs> Miss, oh my god, Daphne, chill. Yeah. Miss Leonard doesn't seem to care, but Daphne continues anyway. You know, the TV show? Miss Slunner crossing arms. Hold on, I'm losing my place as I scroll down and all the words look really familiar. <laughs> We don't have television on my island. Lena, what are they doing here? <laughs> it's all my fault, Miss Leonard. I heard these folks say they wanted to see a real haunted house, so I thought, you might show them mine. See, really, Lena? <laughs> <laughs> but your house is simply beautiful, Miss Leonard. Isn't it, Fred? He knows just Fred for some help, and he obliges lifting up his grammar. What the fuck's a crammer? Anyway. What the fuck is a crammer? I don't know. <laughs> it's licking a hand on Daphne's shoulder. A crammer is a person or institution that prepares pupils, pupils for an examination intensively over a short period of time. Huh? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, maybe it's a misspelling. Who fucking knows? It's a British term, too. Oh, wait. Is this? No. Maybe they're not British. I don't know. How dare these people be British? What? Ball of what? Oh, ball, 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 my. He's the scoos, the insane. Bloody hell, my. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out right. to the car park and real quick. <laughs> gonna get some fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> go and get some fish and chips, mate. All right, read that line again, and I'll and I'll read the next one. Oh, with the the house thing. With or the crammer. Oh. So. He obliged to lift up his crammer and slicking a hand on Daphne's shoulder. Fred, picture perfect. Just how old is it? It has been in my family for generations. It has a pepper plantation. Some of the hottest peppers in Louisiana grow on this island. <laughs> she just sounds so posh. I was, I was trying to embody that bomb that I voiced in Thousand Year Door, because she was like rich too, and she's like, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. It matches. Shaggy and stupid look and start, uh... What? Lab? Salivating. Salivating at the show. Salivating. <laughs> Shaggy. Ha ha ha. We've hit the proverbial chili pepper jackpot. Thelma decides to start a conversation with Miss Leonard. Oh, Miss Leonard, you're really... Haunted? 
Yes, it is an old house with a restless spirit. Dragon and Scooby get scared at this, while Miss Leonard proceeds up the stairs to her home. You're welcome to look around if you like. Would we ever? Do you mind us taping? <laughs> no, of course not. In fact, I'd be most flattered. <laughs> the game proceeds to go up the, the stairs, but Miss Leonard stops them. But you have to do something about your dog. <laughs> Like, food always keeps Scooby occupied. It will keep him from chasing my cats. You're welcome to my kitchen. Groovy. Come on, Scoob. Fred looks over and sees all the broken pots and damaged carts. Sorry about all the damage. Don't worry. Theo would take care of it. It would. Our new gardener. Daphne, Velma, and Rabby look over at you. Sure, I'll take care of it. Gardener. Raffi Rue. Nice guy when I spoke to him. Raffi finishes saying this as Miss Leonard notices Lulu with Ravi. Strange, she's normally very stood off to people, even the other cats. Uh, let me scroll. <laughs> Ravi looks at Lulu, who just meows at him and licks him. Ravi guess. Oh. That's your line, sorry. I was like, I was like, what is this? That's my what? Yeah, you're lying. It's a guess you like, guess you liked me. Oh, they didn't put quotes. Yeah, that's, that's what threw me off, too. Guess she just likes me. We then cut to a shot of the gang inside of a library with Daphne and Fred being served lemonade by Lena, while Ravi and Velma uh, look around at the decor in the different books while Shaggy and Scooby are in the kitchen. Delicious lemonade, Lena, Fred says. Why, thank you. So, how long have you been working for... Suddenly, you hear Shaggy and Scooby scream. The guys! Velma, I'm so <laughs> glad guys. you're here. <laughs> the gang plus Lena rush in to find Shaggy and Scooby guzzling a ton of liquids. I guess Liquid. instead of water. And Revy just face pumps. That was some hot pepper. <laughs> Those are Moon Sky Island peppers. I wasn't exaggerating when I said they were the hottest peppers in Louisiana. I forgot this place took place in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I completely forgot this as well. Yeah. Lore. <laughs> lore. Scooby-Doo lore. <laughs> With all the screaming, we thought you might have seen a ghost, Fred says. Well, if we do, you'll be the first to know. Yeah, canon to the Scooby-Doo lore, Louisiana exists. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought it was a myth. Yeah, the myth, the legend, Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> the myth, the legend, Louisiana. It's like all those jokes where people are like, Ohio's not a real place. <laughs> or like, oh, Ohio's like a, like a death trap. <laughs> or like a, like a weird, like, paranoid. What are they? Do play. I'm trying to remember the Ohio memes off the top of my head, but now I can't come up with a single one. <laughs> Damn it. I just know that no one wants to live in Ohio for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> Even I <laughs> Alright, uh, which line? Oh, Daphne. Sorry for the interruption, Miss Leonard. What the fuck is Simone? Oh, Miss Leonard. <laughs> Please. Oh, is that her name now? Yeah, I guess she was like, please call me Simone. Shall we continue our tour of the house? Uh, great, Mrs. Simone. <laughs> Daphne pretty much drags Fred with her as she goes after Simone. Velma and Ravi go to follow, but looks at Shaggy and Scooby before they do. Maybe you guys should just stay away from those peppers. Please yeah. only call if you see anything suspicious, Ravi says. Right. We'll just stick with the gumbo, if you don't mind, Lena. Of course not. I'm just glad you like it. Help yourselves. Shaggy and Scooby look out for, for anyone and smile to each other. We cut to the gang back in the library. Well, this is a great library, Simone. <laughs> they then hear Shaggy and Scooby scream again and Ravi face bombs. Mm. Now what? Oh, I have to scroll down. My bad. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> I swear, 
If this is those peppers again, Raffi says. The group go back down to the kitchen to find Shaggy and Scooby in the pantry shaking. Peppers again. R oh, writing. Writing. What's writing? This writing. The group turned to see the ghost recommendation for their favorite Gordon Peele movie. Uh, I Jordan mean, Peele. Oh, you know I can't read. <laughs> what did I even say anyway? <laughs> did, I say, did I say Peely? Uh, you just said Gordon Peele. I just thought of Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, I mean, a warning from the ghost saying, get out. Oh, wow. That's a uh, haha. Good joke. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get it anyway. <laughs> oh, wait. You, have you seen uh, Get Out? Nope. And do you know what it's about? No. <laughs> oh. I just started getting into horror, man. I hate horror as well, so I don't really watch them, but, like, I've heard of movies. Mm hmm I know their synopsis, or synopsis, synopsis, at least. I took a couple attempts. <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. You can sound it out. <laughs> synopsis. <laughs> do you know um, Key and Peele? Huh? No, I do not. Uh, Does he have right. a movie? <laughs> I think uh, they do like uh, I think they do like comedy skits, and they they were like really popular on YouTube. Gotcha. I don't think they do skits anymore though. Now they're like writing uh, movies. I think yeah. like Jordan Peele's. Just a uh, movie director now. Damn. I mean, a lot of right. my favorite YouTubers that are old are no longer making the content or switching off their forms, just like Game Theory. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad getting old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? This place is haunted, Shaggy says. Wow, Fred, get a shot at that. Fred does so, lifting his camera while Velma and Ravi inspect it. Jinkies. The mode, could you come stand next to me, please? He does so as Ravi and Velma move away from the message so Fred can film Daphne and Simone. Camera my bad, my bad. in Miss Simone's Miss Simone Mears kitchen where we had our first encounter with the supernatural spirits of the Moonscar Mansion. You can feel the chill in the air. Suddenly, a gust of cold wind goes through the kitchen as the ghost adds more to the message. Cut. Pull open that window. No moves away from <laughs> the shot. That's not Daphne's voice. I didn't you know. Gotta... I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was Belma for a second. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> Pull open the oh. window. Pull open the window. No moves from the shot. Nobody. No more points and the new part of the message. Fred says, Beware. Wow, this is great stuff, or what? Where have you noticed uh, like, this? I feel like whenever I hear Daphne's voice, she does sound preppy, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like. <laughs> it's too much? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, most of the time, it's, it's spot on there. Mm -hmm. I feel, or I, I don't even know Daphne's voice. I, I just, I it? just, the most clearest I've ever heard her voice in that is in that little clip where she's insulting uh, Velma over her choice of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> that's your reference point. Yes, yeah, the reference point. That's that's where I get my ideas from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep doing the voice. Absolutely, I will. <laughs> Ravi notices as Lulu is tensed up, and he takes her in his arms and tries to calm her down. Hey, hey, don't worry. Nothing's gonna hurt you while I'm here, Raffi says. Shaggy and Scooby are seen hitting in the pantry, poking out, shaking. R right, great, Shaggy says. The haunting may have just been starting. After sundown, the ghosts get more restless. Oh no. Must not be too bad if you still live here, Raffi says. Simone, like both Jack... Jack and Lena tense up at this, and only one. And the only one to notice is 
Or after you ruin his mind? What does his mind sound like? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna... Out. Here, I'll just do this. What are you not telling us? Or could it be that? Gravity thought is interrupted by Velma knocking on the wall. This seems pretty solid. <laughs> Keep rolling, Fred. Maybe we'll get another ghostly manifestation. Fred then turns the camera on to Velma. Freddy, I'm over here! It's Velma, Fred says. She's possessed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she is! The group looks over and sees <laughs> Velma is. floating in the air! <laughs> She's floating. Huh? We've been levitated before, and there's always a magnet or wires somewhere, Fred says. Fred looks over at Fred, a bit skeptical. No wires here, Fred. Wow. <laughs> a real case of love and patience. <laughs> I'm glad she's excited about this and not paranoid that her friend is levitating on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then it's looks like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. He's like, wow, that's a great power. You should use that more often. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told us you could do this. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. That would be great for this fucking documentary that we're doing. <laughs> Velma then floats higher, and Ravi gets a little slightly worried. This just keeps getting better and better. Maybe from where you're standing, and you'll want to try to get me down. Sure thing, Velma. Ravi walks over and goes to pull her down, only for her to fall on him. Nice catch, thanks. You're welcome, Velma. Now get off. <laughs> no, he's so mean about it. Yeah. Velma does so, and Ravi checks on Lulu and finds not a scratch on her. Ravi ruined his mind. How odd. Time skip featuring an alternative time of a girl with blonde hair and a, and a boy together with a kitten. Alright, more people for us to ch fucking do on. Later on, with the, the whole gang, plus Lena and Simone in the, le in the library looking over the footage they had just seen. You can feel the chill in the air. Just like before, when goes past the window. Oh, the window goes past the video. God, who opened the window? Hey again, Fred. I think I saw something. Sure. And so Fred rewinds the footage. Who opened the window? There! Do you s can you enhance the shot? Uh, yeah. Let me darken the image a little, bring up the sharpness a bit, and hey, Fred says. The image shows what looks like a pirate ghost behind Daphne in the video. Oh, oh my shit. God. Look at that ghost. Oh my god, that's so ghostly. And even a scarier ghost so underneath. He's like, uh, what is it? What's his name? Davy Jones and SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh shit, you're right. I was thinking of Blackbeard. <laughs> <laughs> is it that what it's based off of? Maybe I not. I have no idea. I know Blackbeard's in One Piece, and Whitebeard's in One Piece, and Atlas Kid's like in One Piece. a purple beard and a blue beard? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> that looks like a ghost. It is the ghost of Mor Morgan Moonscar. Here, let me show you. Simone then pulls out a book and shows the gang a picture of, m of Morgan Moonscar. He looks less alive in this picture than he does in that little ghost thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is a portrait of Morgan Miss McWright. The moon-shaped scars what is why he became better known as Morgan Moonscar. That's him, alright, and he wants us out. We'd be happy to get out. A real pirate ghost. Fabulous! I cannot thank you enough for opening your haunted house to us, Simone. So you're not going to need it. You're gonna heed the Moonscar's threat. Are you kidding? We're not scared that easily. Well, me, Fred, and Daph and Velm. Well, okay, well, me, Fred, Daph, and Velm don't, but those two. Points at Shaggy and Scooby, who just nodded in a very bluntly statement. 
Besides, it's probably just a hologram of a guy in a pirate suit, Fred says. After listening to Fred, Raffi takes a look at the picture and then the video to spot a difference with the camp. <laughs> Raffi ruined his mind. If this is a fake, it's hard to tell. How interesting. Well, how do you- What well, fuck. Well, how did it only show up on tape? That's the mystery. But there's always a logical explanation for these things, Fred says. The group then hear a noise and sounds like growling. What is that? There's a logical explanation for the growling in our stomachs. We're hungry, and we're gonna get some food to go. And with that, Shaggy and Scooby rush off to find some food. I want to go take another look at the wall, if you don't mind. Of course, Miss Lenore. Of course, and please call me Simone, Mr. Roo. <laughs> Mr. Roo. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what we have. I think yeah, it's Mr. Last Name. <laughs> Mr. Roo. <Rue. laughs> Mr. Roo the day. All right. Only if you'll call me Raffy Roo, or er, uh, Raffy, uh, and thanks. Uh, wait up, Raffy. I want to come by. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, Raffy nods, and the two head off back to the kitchen, which they enter just as Shaggy and Scooby are leaving with the picnic basket. Like, what are you two doing back here? We wanted to take another look at the wall. What's to look at? It's pretty clear that the ghost wants us out. Come on, Scoop. Let's go. Noma then scratches at the wall, like, while Raffi goes into the pantry. This isn't hollow, but maybe... Noma continues to scratch the parts of the wallpaper comes off. There's something under here, Rabbi. And when she starts destroying the wall, it reveals a E L S T R O M. Maelstrom, huh? Velma turns to see Rabbi in the pantry. Rabbi? Rabbi pokes his head out. Yo! What are you doing? Getting Lulu some food. Who's Lulu? The cat that's been with me this whole time. Takes Rip. Lulu. Oh. Uh, I think they. <laughs> Why is there a colon? I don't know. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. <gasps> Damn it! I didn't know I wrote this. Oh, that's where the colon went from before. Yeah. They just pasted it here. Remy takes Lulu off his shoulders and shows it to Velma. See. Rabbi, can you stop playing around and talking about imaginary cats? Huh. I'm holding her in my hand. Can't you see her? Velma seems to take a Eureka moment. Eureka. She, Eureka moment. She turns to Rabbi. Rabbi, I think you don't need to feed her. Of course I won't. I... What? Uh, of course I will, won't I, cutie? Rabbi, I think you're holding a ghost. That's why you can only see it. Huh? A moment shocking. Ravi leaving him speechless and ending the chapter. Oh my god, the cat was a ghost the whole time? I cannot believe this shit. That's a ghost black cat. Oh yeah. my gosh. How long is this next one? Because we might not have time to read this. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Oh my oh, god. Okay, yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these are like actual episode length chapters. Yeah, these this took long. us 40 minutes just to get through the chapter 3. I wonder if there are so many ratings. It's just it's a very well written chapter. It is. It was really good. We just couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Too much dialogue switching. We had to like have we had several to be like, voices. We'd be like, who is this again? <laughs> <laughs> I like the, if I like we had the, like nine or ten people, it could just be continuous. But yeah, we gotta switch. Yeah, we get, we gotta get special guest stars. Yeah, to help us with the Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, get cameras to read. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> That'd Poor be fun. Cameron. All right. Next well, time we do a Scooby Doo, make him read. Oh yeah, we can have him do Fred and uh and that other guy, the gardener. 
We'll make him do Daphne. <laughs> you think? Oh my gosh, you could just do like the Mean Girls. Not Mean Girls, like the White Chicks thing? You could do that voice. Does he have like a voice for that? No, he does the laugh where he's like, Damn little lady, you sure can't put it away. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> That sounds familiar. Yeah. You can try to get him to do that later. Because he does it so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, you know what, this was fun, even though we had to cut this a bit shorter and whatnot. It was good. Yeah. I, I, the voice acting ones are pretty fun. Yeah. The voice acting is the best part of doing the Scooby-Doo one so far, because we don't have any other books that make us swap characters like this. We gotta pull out some more cartoon shows. Yeah. Not, not Spongebob. Don't fucking do that to me. <laughs> oh, well, let's do Spongebob, yes. Fuck. You're gonna get it again, and then you're gonna get like Minho Choice again, and you'll be like, alright, so for this time I picked out uh, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> oh my god, Kung Fu Panda, put that on the wheel. Dude, yeah, good idea. <laughs> Yo, any more ideas? No. Actually, put that on the wheel, put that on the wheel. Alright. Yes. Alright, well, I guess this is a better segue than ever to <laughs> spin the wheel now, and I guess add Kung Fu Panda. Oh my god, alright, I gotta look up, what is it? Wait, Disney movies. Don't you dare! Disney movies. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my- Alright, uh... So what am I adding? Kung Fu Panda, really? Kung Fu Panda. If I land on this, I will... I will destroy you! <laughs> you should- right. Uh, oh, Tangled, yeah. Add Tangled on there. Why? Is there even a Tangled fanfiction? Of you course want? there is. Or, or, I'm sure there's a fanfiction, I don't know if there's one that I want, but... Oh. <laughs> Alright, there you go. I got anything with dialogue. Oh, anything that makes you suffer, that's basically what you... <laughs> exactly, exactly. Alright, you ready to spin this wheel? You ready to decide? No, I'm looking up more Disney movies. <laughs> Disney movies. <laughs> Disney movie. Okay, these are two Zoomer, I gotta look up Disney movie classics. Yeah, Bambi. <laughs> it's like... YN ex Bambi's mother, and it just ends with her being shot. <laughs> Alright, what's your favorite Disney movie? I'm not answering that. <laughs> if you if you don't answer, we're done. Oh, actually, my favorite right. so far is the Pixar the movie. Top. I really do love Elemental. Um, Elemental? What's that? It's a Pixar movie. It's like the elements for this like fire, water, earth, and, and wind and whatnot that have to live in harmony. What, but Avatar? I but I was, like, really racist to the fire people. Like, stupid racist. Like, Avatar? <laughs> it is Avatar. Hey! Avatar, but reverse. I never watched Avatar. What? I never watched it. How could you? I know, I'm, I'm ashamed. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of other movies that I've seen recently that I like. Beauty and the Beast is a good classic and whatnot that I like. Um... I'm trying to think of recent Disney movies that I like, and I can't- Oh, Encanto. That was pretty good. I like that one. The music is fucking a bop right now. Uh, Wish- I- I wish, don't know that one. Encanto? That's the, uh, the magical, um... The magical family, and, uh, Maribel doesn't have a fucking power. Oh, Encanto. Yeah, yes. okay. Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, like, in- in con- like, incognito or something. Oh. <laughs> No, you're very wrong. <laughs> oh, like the Spanish one, like Day of the Dead, or Day of the Dead, that one? Yes. Yeah, very yeah. much a big Spanish yeah. element in that movie. Yeah, that, that was a good one. Yeah, alright, are you ready now? Are you... Star Wars. We're not doing Star Wars! <laughs> Indiana Jones. You know what's a really weird fanfiction that keeps popping up in Star Wars? What? Obi-Wan Kenobi x Anakin Skywalker. Okay, yep, yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you. Alright, you ready? Yes. Alright. Ready as I'll ever be. Lands on me, it's, it's, if lands on me, it's SpongeBob. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh my god, Pete's All in right. the middle of a disaster. We Let's go. We finally get to finish this book. Yeah, it's pizza time. Yeah, pizza. Alright, removed it because uh, that's the last time we're reading that. <laughs> Oh, is that the end? After? Yeah, that's the end of the chapter. Yeah, that's the end of the book after we read it. Can't wait for this shit. Alright. I don't really remember liking that one, but you know what? We'll finish it off. Yep. What do you mean you 
didn't like it. It was okay. It was at least B tier compared to all the other shit we've read. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Well, um, well, I enjoyed our time. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. That was a good session. I uh, I don't, I don't know how to end this. <laughs> Scooby Doo Doo. No, not, not like that. <laughs> 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 all right take two cut yeah. action well thank you guys for watching uh on screen somewhere towards the end there will be a playlist that has like i don't know like 94 episodes of wattpad book club at this rate uh check them all out all of them at once play all 94 episodes at the same time at once yes it would not and get like overstimulated uh Thank you, Minho, for joining. Don't you meet behind the dumpster and whatnot. It's been quite a windy today. Pretty windy, pretty cold. Yeah. So I got a good newspaper here and that'll cover me up for tonight. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go by this fire that we made of this like oil drum that was randomly behind the uh <laughs> the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, you're lucky I found some uh flint and steel to light up some fire. What is this fucking Minecraft? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're lucky I found a piece of metal and some, uh, flint. Yeah, <laughs> piece of gravel, <laughs> just a rock. Just a rock, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything else to say, so... Alright, well, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Obi -obi 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 -obi.